Hello, this is Scott McDonald, and welcome to the perfect place to put a practice podcast. Now, in this session, I'd like to talk a little about practicing in Pennsylvania. Now, there may be some little odd This is Scott McDonald, and welcome to the perfect place to put a practice podcast. I'm so glad you could watch. In this session, I would like to talk a little bit about practicing in the great state of Pennsylvania. Now, that may seem a little odd for those who know that I have been going from state to state and region to region discussing the viability of places to either purchase or to start up a practice. Now, from the standpoint of a de novo practice, Pennsylvania, well, it's certainly not leaning, uh, or, or I should say leading the way in terms of the best places to go. The reason's fairly simple. The Keystone State is simply not growing. Since 2010, the state has only increased by 0.79%. That does not mean that there are not people moving in and out of the state. They've certainly got turnover. But you see, in fact, one of the important things for doctors to know about Pennsylvania is that the opportunities can be found where the area is churning. And that means people coming and going. You see, turning over the population as people move in and out of the state is your great chance for success here. With 12,800,000 plus residents, it's the sixth largest, most populous state in the country. It is undeniable that with Outstanding infrastructure, it has fantastic potential. Now, James Carville, the political consultant, described Pennsylvania as Philadelphia in the east, Pittsburgh in the west, and Alabama in the middle. Now, for those of us who know and love this state, it's a little hard to deny that it's true. There are two reasons that uh, demographers lack hope for this state. I want to say the bad news up front. The first is taxes and government control. In short, this state is in the top 10 of high-tax states. It is also one of the most highly regulated and unionized states in the, in, in the country. It is not just easy uh, to set up a business here that will employ many people because the cost per employee is extremely high. The growing blue-collar segment of the economy has been successful in attracting Hispanic and Asian workers. In fact, since 2010, Asia has accounted for 36% of the growth, while Hispanics, mostly Puerto Ricans, have accounted for 30.6%. But what surprised many is that European migration accounts for 35.9% of the increase in the state. It is certainly true that Europe is accounting for many skilled and highly educated people heading here. Uh, but a lot of people were surprised that Europe is exporting anybody. The second challenge is the high crime in the inner cities. Now, it's true, the suburbs throughout the state serve as enclaves of safety and sanity. This is where there are some wonderful opportunities for practice. And that is why any doctor must consider the viability of a site not based upon the standard metrics around an office. Rather, one must look into the pockets of potential, and this is not always very easy. You see, you might need the help of a demographer. I'm just saying, I guess I'm a demographer. Greater Philadelphia is a good example of what we mean by all this. Chester County is an affluent area with a median household income of $112,402. Philadelphia County, which is very close, has a median household income of about $50,000. So the contrasts between good and bad are huge. The same is true of Montgomery County with a median household income of $104,000. See, here's what I want you to know. The potential is there. But the risks, if one chooses the wrong neighborhood, is high. I just want you to choose the right place. Now, as an aside, the greatest growth is found in Cumberland County, which is across the Susquehanna River from Harrisburg along I-81. Median household income is a respectable $81,600. So also as a quick aside, this is one of the best areas to consider for practice in either a startup or a purchase. Uh, Lehigh County, which is 
just across the intersection of I-78 and I-476 is where we find Allentown. Like a similar county of uh, Lebanon, we see both areas as having wonderful potential that is not realized at this moment, and competition ratios are favorable. If they're successful in their bids to find a large, uh, large employers, these counties, and, and I think this will happen, the growth will moderate and the median household incomes will actually become even more favorable. Now, both of those counties have a, a median household income of 72000 If you are interested in Philadelphia, you have to put this on your watch list. Pennsylvania has got some potential. It just isn't obvious everywhere. Now, by the way, Center County is not growing badly. And this is where I-99 and I-80 flow through the area. State College is the key hub that you want to keep in mind. Am I giving too much away by doing these uh, things? I, I just want to get you thinking, that's all. Now, I won't go through those parts of the state that are not doing well because, well, I don't want you to jump off a bridge and it just doesn't serve any good purpose. I just want you to, to let you know that our site viability report is really a great tool to evaluate the potential of a community for the type of practice that you want to consider. We take into account the specific practice type and model that you want to uh, try out to see if it'll work. The report is created by a demographer in a prose format. It's not just a, a bunch of regurgitation of U.S. Census data that's been put into pretty charts and graphs. We can actually tell you the likelihood of success it, it, that you will have if you, if you do this. Now, given the very high cost of practices and the risks that you are assuming, we believe that paying a little more for report analysis is better than simply going after something cheap uh, using some kind of a score that was produced by a real estate database, which is, by the way, where most of our competition uh, does their reports. It's automated as though it was untouched by human hands or unseen by human eyes. Now, in conclusion, I just want to reiterate that Pennsylvania can be a great place to consider practice, but you need to find the right neighborhood to set up and to promote your practice. There has been talk about several large employers considering the Pittsburgh area and because property is remarkably inexpensive and the employment base is very favorable. I'm just going to tell you, don't give up. Should this happen, you should be wise to move fast on a practice acquisition or startup because, this is important, the good opportunities will not last long. So jump on it. Check out our new practice site viability report and analysis at Dental Demographics, Doctor Demographics, and VetDemographics.com websites. This is Scott McDonald, and I hope that we can help you find the perfect place to put a practice.